Hello everyone houseman. Today I'm going to show you how to change this Sony laptop which is like um, 15 years ago I bought it. It's running on the Intel Centrino Duo and then running on the Windows Vista originally. And I'm going to show you how to change the hard disk from the mechanical rotating one to the solid SSD. Let's get started. When I remove all the screw, I would like to draw a floor plan to mark every screw and every position that I take it off. And after replacing the hard disk to SSD, I will replace um, the screw in the same position so that the same screw goes back to the same hold because I believe that Every screw, when it's screwed down for many years, it stays there and is particularly good for that hole. So I will remove that, try to remember where they are, and then put them in the same position again that you will find it more smoothly to screw down the things back to the same hole. In this thing, I put a double side tape here and slightly put a screw on top. Actually, it doesn't fall down and stick there. While you're doing your replacement on the SSD, you can put it away, put it in the same place so uh, no one can touch it. We we'll remove these two, and the next step is to take the keyboard up. The trick is that you have to open the screen wide back in order these two positions are not touching each other. So let's do it. Now, so we have to wide open this one so this one doesn't touch each other and then you can lift your keyboard up When you lift this up, there's a connector behind from the keyboard to the main board so that you have to unplug it So here it is This is the one to connect it. We open it, we see the hard drive here. It's a traditional mechanical one, it's 100 gigabyte. In order to get it out, you have to remove this screw and this screw and one screw here. This frame, protection frame, is underneath the USB module. So you have to unscrew this one and this one in order to get this up and then you can get this out easily. So now you can lift this up and take this out. To remove this hard drive, you have to remove this pin. This is a connection flat wire, ribbon cable and you can remove by lift this up the black area and then the cable will come out it is up and take it out like this we need an adapter to connect the SSD a drive called MST8 to CE SIF. It is a 40 pin connector here. So it is suitable for putting back to the same position using a ripper wire. And the hard disk itself, I bought this, this one, a Samsung 250 GB. At the back, it said. 850 DVO. The reading speed and writing speed is up to 500 to 550 megabit per second. This is a theoretical speed, and this is an easy, better one we can use. To install the thing, you have to notice that the position of the pin, which is attached to this cable, is the 
orientation is like this. It doesn't go like this. It's going like this. It's upside down. And the gap here is a bit wider than the original hard disk. So when you plug this in, you'll find it very loose. What you can do is to put a double side tape. Is take it to the back of the ribbon cable, so make it thicker. In order this one can put it in tightly and the connection will be better. Double side tape, stick it behind it and this one now is thicker, shoot up over the large gap of the adapter. One thing I just want to mention is that this computer, when I take it out, I haven't been using it for many years, the clock is running behind and uh, the battery is dead. So on this one, there's a battery connector, negative and positive, so be in um, the opposite color, which is, uh, I think someone uh, marked it here. The wire here, I cut the wire, original battery is here, it's a very small and thin one. I extend it to here, I put a 20, 32, it's like this big and a lot thicker. I stick behind it underneath this um, CD-ROM panel. So put it under, stick there, make sure it doesn't move. And uh, it uh, sit there as tightly is uh, very good. There's a bigger battery, I think it will be last for many years. The clock is running well now. The best way to install all the thing is to install the adapter first. At the back of the adapter, I put some Electrical tape there is try to avoid from the board touching this metal frame, so it's protection. So let's connect this to the ripping cable now. Put it in, and then you can flip it over. Use these two things to get out, push in a little bit and then press this down. Okay, that's been done. And now we can install the SSD. And you press it down. So make sure it's good, looking good, and here is looking good. And then you can put all the things in the place. I put the keyboard connect to into the main board before I cover all the screws and the things back to the original position. Let's give it a test. Plug in. I pre store the window inside so this is running the window 11. So it's from window vista. Can see it very well. And to window 11. It's the latest system we have this year, actually for a few years ago. Plugged in the USB mouse. Okay, the mouse is working. I installed the Opera, the web browser. I hope it is uh, going well. It doesn't seem very fast. I think it's because of the hardware itself. It's running on Centrino Duo and 2 gigabyte RAM inside. Even there is a new SSD hard disk hard drive, so it run quite fast. Be faster than the original one, uh, it doesn't go very fast. But uh, the good thing is the clock is running and everything is supported and the thing is up to date. You can use the 
any apps or any browser that is still being support and uh, you can have the latest look and feel on the, what you are browsing so compared with the old one you even can't watch the YouTube now you can do it and you have Google the times working browser is working is good uh, this is very clean computer now nothing inside and the space is now from two uh, from 100 gigabyte to 250 effectively 232 it says win 10 but it says win 11 actually so after the testing you can put all the thing back the back cover and everything Back to normal, you can use this computer again without worrying about the the um, outdated program or anything. The speed you prepare for that, it won't go up uh, dramatically, but uh, it's still a very good, beautiful machine you can use. I bought this, I think it's around 2,000 US dollars at that moment, about 14 years ago. Now, if you put it aside, it's kind of ways. The battery is still running good. I mean, the PC battery. Internal battery, we have to change it. It lasts for another five years. If not, I'll just change it again, right? And thanks for watching. I'm a houseman this project. Renewing your machine is a, a lot of satisfaction and the it is great, right? So uh, you can use it for whatever purpose you want. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share to your friends. Uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're curious ready to buy the SSD hard disk or the um, mini SATA to 40 pin connector, actually come with the, the cable as well. And you can have to comment below to ask and give us some advice where to buy and which one is the best. And actually, they have uh, several models. For the connector and the SSD, so um, you can try the higher SSD at the cost, right? And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had a very successful and um, satisfaction feeling on there. I can't stop this video, but I have to say goodbye. And please watch me for another videos. There was another laptops upgrade there. Uh, uh, two laptops I'm going to upgrade as well so please stay tuned thank you so much see you next time it's most tricky bit to remove this from each side so actually there's a trick I can tell you how when you remove it you will see there's a latch on one position and the other position on this one there are two ledges. On the other one, the only one ledges here. I hope you can see. I will mark with a marker here. With a dark marker, I can see from some angle. And I put an arrow here. And also, the other one, I put two markers here. If you can see from here. And also, the other one is here and also put an arrow outside I hope you can see as well so when it's taken in to remove it after focusing on these two ledges use a plastic rod or a plastic um, screwdriver to clip this out and then pull this out you don't have to if you do and that, you have to search where the latches are and then you will probably break it and break the wires around here. But with the marking, first time you have to find it and then next time you mark it. And then next time you just push it to the right place and then you will put it out easier. Not easily, but easier, I say. So, it's a trick. So, I hope this tip is helpful to you. So, let's move on. When you remove the screws, this one and the other one here, 
supporting the screen so you don't have to remove them if you remove them while you're doing the work moving your screen angle they will become more dangerous to break the mechanism here so these two this screw and this screw you don't have to remove them also underneath here you have one this you have to remove the uh, cover to remove the screw but on the other side you don't have to there is nothing underneath it's uh, easier for you to put this in when the screen is open in certain angle so not obstructing here again and you press this in and on the other one on the other side take two pieces in and now you can easily close that screen and put a screw at the back again all the screws are corresponding to all the screw position around here so you can just mash them up and put all the things in Thank you. 